Hello everyone, and welcome to Family Fry Crafts. Today, I'm going to show you how to make these really cool looking marble, actually nail polish marble mugs. And we will seal them. As you can see, we did use different colors. But one thing I like about these is, one, you can try and use these, do this kind of method on almost practically anything. So with these, I just, as you can tell, I did coffee mugs, and what I'm going to show you how to do today, and I also did a plate as well. And so pretty much we are going to go ahead and get started, and I will tell you the materials that you will need. So the materials that you're going to need is a bucket with some really warm water. As you can see, I have it just like kind of like a Tupperware plastic bucket, because the nail polish does stain. Another thing too, you will need the color choices of your nail polish that you want to use, the surface that you want, which we're going to do a mug today, and then this I am going to use once it's dried and seal it so it can be washed and you're not washing off your nail polish. So we are going to get started. What you want to try and do is take your nail polish, of course, fill up your bucket with the warm water, which I already did, and we're going to dump the nail polish in which I wait design you want you can use a toothpick I don't have one I'm just kind of winging this and just letting this do a thing so I'm gonna do four colors you can do one color you can do two colors three colors four colors whatever whatever you whatever you want to do Another thing you also need as well is a paper towel for your cup to dry on. And I would probably say use some tape. I probably won't this time. Next time I probably will. And of course you have to do this extremely kind of quick because this goes fast. So what you're going to try and do is take your surface and dunk it in. And then you can swirl it around and get more of the design if you want. And then as you can see, I did leave a good size little rim on top because, again, you won't be able to use this to be able to drink out of it. And then I'm going to try to dump this upside down. And as you can see, I put on a paper towel and I'm going to let this set um, probably for a good hour or so um, so it can dry up. But as you can see with my water, I have more ink in there so I can easily stump it out or I can make another one. But as you can see with this design, it is definitely its own kind of uniqueness. One thing I like about these is that it's one of a kind, not two are the same. So I will see you guys back here in about a good hour or so. See you then. Okay, so I say that was about an hour or so for the cup to dry. While I was letting the cup dry and everything, I decided to go ahead and do a plate. As you can see, it kind of matches the cup. Anyway, so, but when you do something with a cup, in the, or with a plate, you cannot eat off of it. It is not food safe. Um, but you can use it as a centerpiece or a jewelry holder, key holder, you know, spare change, whatever. So this is gonna be more of a this is more of a decoration than actually eating off of. With the cup, you can drink off of still and everything because you still have the space right here to drink off, uh, put your lips on and drink out of. So this you can do, and we'll go ahead and get started and putting the um, the liquid on the this right here to actually seal so it can be pretty much water resistant so I'm just going to try and take this I'm going to use my little sponge right here and I'm going to pour a little bit on kind of dripping there and then I'm just going to go right where it kind of begins I'm measly over the design and I'm just going to go all the way 
around this, including on the handle. If you need to add more, you can. But I really did not find any issue, really too much issue to doing that, but I will add a little bit more. And then we, I'm just going to go all the way around. And as you can kind of see, it kind of glimmers a little bit. I mean, it's on. And I'm going to probably let this set. Probably for a good 20-ish so minutes. I mean, I'm sure it'll probably take less than that for it to dry. Um, I might do one of a few coats on it and whatnot. But... I mean, again, this is a really cool little decoration. Great for gifts, great for yourself, great for pretty much for whatever you want to do, um, including the plate. Great for, you know, like a little centerpiece of something, decoration, candle holder, jewelry, keys, whatever you can kind of think of. And... So I'm gonna let those dry and I'll probably put a second or third coat on just to just for my preference. You can put as many coats as you want. Um, but I really hope that this tutorial kinda inspired you as much as it did for me. Um, but again, you know, this is one thing I like about these is that no two plates or cups, whichever you decide to use or dec decorate with, are never the same. Especially like with the colors and swirls and all that. But I really like how it turned out. So, um, when you, if you do decide to do a plate, get a bigger bowl. It kind of helps a little bit, and possibly some gloves because you, you do kind of get a little bit. You have to get a little bit of some nail polish on it. Um, but again, I really hope you you know were inspired, and this tutorial helps a lot. Please subscribe and like my page, and I will see you next time. Bye.